We're here today in Prior Lake at the Dakota Ice Center. This rink is attached to the Dakota Sport and Fitness Club. Prior Lake is really growing over the years and so it was time to add a second sheet of ice to the facility. HTG came in, they came with a, an original concept and I came with the concepts that were in my head and then some of our bosses had some ideas of what to do and so there was a lot of changes and it was just, you know, sometimes you, they come in with a a lot of work that they had done and you're like, you know what, I was thinking about it last night and I don't think we need that. And so you're waiting for them to blow up on you and walk out, but uh, they, they worked pretty well with the uh, with changing everything and it was always a good attitude, good communication. They really had four objectives for the new rink. Number one, they wanted to create its own identity for the ice rink. There was really some confusion between entering the hockey rink versus entering the health club. So we took an created a whole separate entrance for the hockey rink. Now it has its own parking lot, its own entry, so there's no confusion about whether you're going to the sport and fitness club or you're coming to the hockey rink. The second thing is they wanted a modern facility. They wanted to improve the amenities that were offered with the rink. So this new rink has the boys and girls varsity locker rooms for Prior Lake. It has meeting rooms, its own concession stand, dryland training areas as well. Part of the SMSC community's culture is to be sustainable and green. So they wanted to incorporate those things into this project. So up on the roof of this building, there are solar panels and there's also a green roof. The green roof helps control the runoff of the stormwater, the rainfall that hits the building. There's also skylights on the building. So during the day, very few lights actually have to be on in the rink because the natural daylight is filtering through the skylights of the building. A fourth thing we did was we captured the waste heat from creating the ice. The refrigeration equipment generates a lot of heat. And so they captured that waste heat and we use it to actually heat the building. There's tubes that run through the floor. So it's a radiant floor system that runs through the bleachers to help keep the fans warm once they're sitting here watching the games. It was a great transition from construction stuff and dirty floors and everything else to you're actually operating and the community is actually coming in and using this brand new building and just to see the kids and the parents you know going from one sheet that was a it was a nice little sheet but then adding on this extraordinary second sheet they could just the pride that they could have in their hockey association the high school and all of a sudden had a, a locker room that was their own they didn't have to just leave their bags um, sitting in a cold arena they had their own and so just the pride of the association and the community just lift it up. Every rink has its unique challenges. We bring that experience to the table. All those different things that we've faced over the years are challenges that come up in design and we can bring those to you, to your project and create unique solutions that fit you and your specific site, your specific layout, whatever it might be. That's our value added to you. It stood the test of time at least for 14 years. So um, that's something that we're pretty proud of.